More on tech under fire this morning. We're going to bring in a CEO who's really at the intersection with some of the biggest names in this sector and has a view about what's going on. Patrick uh, Gelsinger is the CEO of VMware, a cloud and software company. Good morning to you, Patrick. Um, it's Good been, morning. It's been a wild, at least rhetorical ride over the past several months and especially the past week with the debates. Where do you think we really are? I mean, you're on the ground there. You're talking to these companies. Everybody's in a sort of defensive posture. But is, is there a sense that this is just rhetoric or is there a sense that this is very, very real? Well, of course, there's concern when your industry is being highlighted in uh, political debates. But we think that this is a broad brush that is quite inappropriate. You know, overall, tech is uh, doing incredible things for the nation, for the world. And as I describe it, we're in this period of the superpowers of tech, cloud, mobility, AI, and edge and IoT that are permeating every aspect of business and society. But with inside of that, we clearly have some issues. And uh, the social and media companies, where their business models are forcing right. increasing invasiveness into people's personal lives and behaviors. And as a result, we do think there's actions needed in those areas, but a broad painting of tech is clearly inappropriate. Okay, so let's break it down. What would you do, right? I'm, I'm going I'm to put you in charge of either the DO. You can be in charge of the DOJ, the FTC, and the FCC all at the same time. Well, that's a pretty scary power that you're uh, suggesting I take on. But, uh, you know, within it, we do think that there's, you know, clearly views of how people's personal data is being managed and, uh, you know, how that data can be used inside of the business models. That needs to be addressed. But breaking up tech and a broad brush against it is clearly an But addressed how? Addressed how, Patrick? Uh, I would expect through some form of uh, regulatory requirements on how people's data gets managed is the most appropriate uh, view. But do you want? Of some of those do you things. want regulate? I mean, look, there are regulators today from the SEC that literally live inside of the Wall Street banks in New York City. They, they, they are actually monitors uh, inside companies today. Is that the kind of thing you would want? Well, you know, I'm certainly not. Certainly not an expert on those topics. I uh, make my focus on running a great uh, business like we have at uh, VMware. But inside of it, I think actions are required for people to have confidence in how their data is uh, being used. And of course, this is a small piece of technology, right? You know, tech is a permeating you know, medical and industries and is a global darling. I mean, the world looks at our tech industry with envy of what it's accomplishing for America. So in it, it's important to address the core issues at the same time holding up maybe the greatest piece of American industry uh, today in a global setting. Patrick, let me ask you a question. Beside tech bashing, which is great for politics, because I feel sorry for Democratic candidates, there's really nothing else to talk about except the, the boogeyman of tech. But nothing's really happened, even through fa Facebook's probably the hate child for everybody. I'm a huge investor. I spend millions of dollars each week across 52 companies on Facebook. It's getting better. I haven't seen anything change at all. And frankly, the users on Facebook couldn't give a damn about privacy. So where do you really think there'll be leverage to change anything after the political rhetoric is all over? Who's going to do mm -hmm. the work and why would they do it? There's nothing wrong with Facebook or any of these tech companies right now. Well, I do think their business models have a core issue that they're going to continue to probe deeper and deeper and influencing and invasive into people's uh, lives. And I do think that is a core issue that needs to be addressed. Maybe it's Europe that takes more of a leadership role in uh, looking at those uh, topics through things like GDPR. But what we see is that technology overall, boy, you know, this is a powerhouse of innovation. It's creating new jobs. It's creating new industries and the envy of the planet. And inside of that, we believe that, uh, you know, political rhetoric aside, you know, the technology industry is and needs to continue to be a bastion of the future Patrick, of the economy. Do it this way. Let's pretend the DOJ calls you. Because this is going to happen, by the way, with all of the competitors in Silicon Valley. They're going to say, do you have a problem with what's going on here? Do you have a problem with Google? Do you have a problem with Amazon and their cloud business? Do you, this, is, this is how it works. And then when the competitors come forward and say, yes, I actually do have a problem, then they bring a case and everybody comes out with their emails and this and that. When they call you, what are you going to tell them? I'm going to tell them, I think we have an issue in areas of how people's personal data is being used. But is it affecting your business? business affecting our business? No. 
you know, we're focused, and I believe that's the case for the vast majority of technology, that this is a very focused issue in narrow uh, segments. And technology overall, as I say, it's permeating every aspect and changing health care, changing education. This is powerful, and we should be uh, clearly bringing this forward as it's creating jobs and leadership for America. It's an exciting time. Aside from regulatory clouds hanging over the tech sector, Patrick, uh, there are also, uh, there's also the China trade war going on. VMware mm -hmm. has a robust presence in China. And I'm wondering how you view China in terms of a vehicle of growth specifically for VMware. Um, how much is it going to power the growth in sales in the next five years or so? And how does a China trade war impact some of those forecasts? Well, overall, you know, we believe in free trade. We believe that's the right way for the world economy to be operating. Obviously, the China trade tariffs and so on. You know, the core issue is intellectual property, how intellectual property is used, how it's being controlled, how it's being leveraged for access to markets. And we believe that issue is one that's going to last a while, right? And I don't think, uh, you know, near term, a trade uh, agreement fundamentally addresses that underlying core issue. For VMware, you know, it's a small market for us, but it's growing very nicely. We're highly committed to the market and being able to satisfy our customers in China. Of course, we'll uh, obey international trade laws, U.S., Chinese law inside of that. And we're committed to continue to see that as a growth market for us long term, even as we see this turbulence in the near term. And we'll continue to ride through that.